You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Happy Sunday. Hey, we're just going to do a quick episode today. I get this question a lot. How do I get up in front of groups of people and talk? How do I take requests for interviews on other podcasts without any notes at the last second and perform? So that was a good question. So I sat here this morning and I kind of wrote things down on, I'm not fearless, but why I approach challenges head on and tend to perform pretty well doing it. Not saying that I'm perfect, I'm just saying this is how I do it. I get the question a lot. So it's basically a seven step process to overcome fear and self doubt. Fear and self doubt, in my opinion, are two things that are very normal for people to face. These are also two of the biggest obstacles to success and happiness for a lot of folks. Some people feel more fear and self-doubt than others, plain and simple. And some are better at overcoming it, overcoming the fear and the emotions than others. Regardless of where you fall in the fear self-doubt spectrum, there are many things you can do to rise above those feelings, in my opinion. I did it. I'm nothing special. I was very self-conscious when I was younger. And when I was in the music industry, I met a lot of folks that really helped reframe my mindset on that. So to conquer your fear and self-doubt, I used this process. I identified what I was actually afraid of or what I was doubting, right? What do you really fear? What do you really self-conscious about? Most of us don't have to worry about being eaten by a shark, right? Our lives are rarely in danger. So the most common fear in a modern society, in my opinion, is like being embarrassed or being made a fool out of. You know, there's going to be others, but a lot of people are, you know, self-conscious about that. If you want to start a business, let's say, but can't seem to get started, what is your real concern? Maybe you want to ask your coworker out on a date, maybe. What is the real fear? They certainly aren't going to hit you over the head with a rock or kick you in the face, right? Be aware of your actual fear. And then it helps you bring clarity on addressing it. Again, this is just how I do it. I'm not saying it's perfect and I'm not a psychologist. I'm just telling you how I do it. Find situations related to your fear that you're only mildly uncomfortable with. So perhaps you have a fear of public speaking, let's say. What could you do that's similar but less terrifying? Well, you could give a toast in front of family at at a dinner. Give a speech to a group of friends. Start a conversation with a stranger at Starbucks. Start small. Visualize yourself giving the speech, maybe. See, a lot of times it's being uncomfortable with people looking at you and figure out why that you're uncomfortable about that. Do more group activities and speak up more in those groups. If you're afraid of heights, right, that's a good one. You could start by looking down over a second floor balcony and then slowly work your way up to higher spots. Right? I'm scared of heights, but it's not the height that I'm scared of. It's the fear of falling or falling from that height that has me uptight. So I need to address 
the safety aspect of it. If I'm safe and I know I'm safe, the height has no matter. You need to take action. Thinking creates and magnifies fears, right? When you start focusing on something, it makes it worse. You ever had a headache? Terrible, terrible headache. And then all of a sudden you realize, holy crap, I don't have the headache anymore. When did it go away? Because you reframed or refocused on something different. Most people would be more successful and happier and less afraid if they thought less and did more. If you take more action, you don't have time to think. Visualize yourself not being afraid. Imagine if you have a twin that's similar to you, let's say, but different in other ways. If you could build the perfect twin of yourself, what would they look like? What skills, beliefs, and attitudes would they have? And how would they handle the situation that creates the fear for you? I know that's kind of crazy. That's a method that somebody taught me, and it kind of works. Allow yourself to become that twin. It's just basically a mindset. Give yourself small success. Set yourself up to win if you're going to do something. Make that game so easy that you can't lose. But as you get those little wins, it's going to gain confidence and the stakes will go up. Get used to being successful in the situations that cause you fear. If the thought of making 100 cold calls a day makes you break out in a cold sweat, give yourself a goal of making just one call. Maybe the next day do two calls. But re- but in that example, I coach this all the time. People aren't afraid to make 100 phone calls. They're afraid that somebody's going to answer and they're not prepared for that person to answer. So when you think about things that way, it gives you new clarity. Show yourself that you can do it. Show yourself that nothing bad is going to happen if you do that task. Also be realistic. What is the worst consequences you're likely to endure if the thing that you fear comes true? It's probably not anything that you can't handle, right? They're not gonna kill you, they're not gonna eat you, and they're not gonna put you in jail for making a speech. What you're afraid of is not being prepared. And what you're afraid of is people judging you. But I promise you, the people that are out there looking at you are much more fearful of doing what you're doing than you are. What happens if the, you know, if you write a book and the publisher rejects it, right? I was in the music industry. We wrote songs all the time. People told us they suck. People that didn't play music told us they suck. You just had to keep swinging. What if your speech doesn't go well? What's actually going to happen to you if that happens? Will you still be able to breathe and function? Will your family still love you, right? Of course. Then, you know, in my opinion, the last thing is get help. Whether you need some help from a friend or a professional, a coach, there's no shame in getting help. I get help. I have a coach. Would you get help if your car's engine blew up or would you try to fix it yourself? Or would you just sit there and accept it? You'd get help if you had a broken leg, right? You get crutches, you go to the doctor, you get surgery. Get the help you need to deal with your fears of whatever it is in life. How much do you allow fear and self-doubt to rule your life? I see that a lot. Imagine what your life would be like if you could overcome those things. All of them. Most people avoid the actions. There's the word. Avoid the actions that trigger uncomfortable feelings. You can do better. You can act in the face of these emotions and live your life to the fullest and blow people out of the water with your self-confidence. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I just wanted to share that with you. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, make somebody smile. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. It's Friday morning, December 17th. Hey, before we get the show started, I just want to say thanks to some of our sponsors. First of all, I'd like to thank Ohana Guitar Company. See, Ohana Guitar Company is a custom guitar shop with skillfully handcrafted guitars you've been looking for. Ohana features a full array of guitars from 
customization set by your unique standards or traditional designs and features that you already know and love. Ohana Guitar Company uses classic tone woods for everything from the body throughout the neck and fretboard. Telecaster Stratocaster styles are also available in addition to skillfully handmade small batch one-of-a-kind guitars. You can visit them at www.ohanaguitarcompany.com and connect with them on Twitter and Instagram at Ohana Guitar Co. We're looking forward to making Ohana a part of your guitar family and our podcast family for a long time. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram at frontline.coach.wayne, and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.